Exploring the Power of Don't Care, a Polite versus Impolite Usage Guide. Hello, language learners. In today's video, we're going to delve into an interesting phrase in English, don't care. It's a common expression that we often use to express indifference, but it can be both polite and impolite depending on the context. So, buckle up as we unpack the nuances of don't care in different situations. To start off, let's understand what don't care means. When you say you don't care, you're essentially saying that you have no strong feelings or preference about something. This phrase can be used in both formal and informal conversations. Example, who's going to win the match? I don't care. Here, the speaker expresses indifference towards the outcome of the match. But remember, the tone of voice and the situation are very crucial in interpreting the phrase. Now, you might be wondering, how can don't care be used politely? Well, it's all about context and phrasing. A polite usage of don't care often comes in handy when you're trying to be flexible or accommodating. For example, which restaurant should we go to? I don't care, you can pick. In this situation, don't care is a polite way of saying that the speaker is open to any restaurant choice. This expresses flexibility and consideration for the other person's preference. On the flip side, don't care can come off as rude or dismissive if used improperly. It may seem that the speaker is uninterested or lacks empathy. For example, your room is a mess. Well, I don't care. Here, don't care is used in a dismissive way suggesting that the speaker is not concerned about the cleanliness of their room, despite the disapproval of the other person. This is typically seen as rude or disrespectful. The key to keeping don't care polite is to pair it with positive language and tone. For instance, phrases like, I don't mind, or either way is fine with me, can soften the potential harshness of don't care. Let's compare. Impolite, I don't care where we eat. Polite, I'm fine with any place, I don't really have a preference. The second statement is less blunt and more accommodating, demonstrating how context and phrasing can alter the impact of don't care. And that wraps up our discussion on don't care. Remember, the secret to using don't care. Politely is all about the context, your tone of voice, and accompanying language. Keep practicing and you'll master this in no time. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the wonders of English language. Happy learning!